again, I feel like uh, Stevie Wonder or Ray Charles looking off into the distance, not looking at you. But uh, maybe if I look right there at the little red dot, you'll feel like I'm looking at you in the camera. But who knows? Uh, and the question that I think I read was, if you had a chance to change your fate, would you? Or if you had a chance to live your life, would you? Years ago, we were doing a month long in California, and there was a chiropractor. She's no longer on the planet. And she had this great idea for chiropractors on how to uh, run a practice economically and make good money as a chiropractor, which, if you have a high overhead, it can be tough to do. And she came to the month long, and she said, I want to go and show chiropractors how to do this. And I said, don't worry, you won't. And she said, oh, yes, I will. And I said no you won't she said yes I will I said no you won't do it I guarantee it and one of the other women in the class said uh, you're trying to disqualify her dream I said no 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 what I've seen is people talk about their dreams talk about what they want to do and most times they'll walk in another direction they think it's their dream and they're actually living their dream and this gal was a great practitioner loved being a chiropractor and she was living her dream and she thought if I did just one other thing then it would that would be my dream and I told her, you know, you're not going to do that dream. You're not going to live that dream. And she said, how do you know? I said, because 90% of the people that I talk to that say, this is my dream, don't live it. And it doesn't mean that they're not living their dream. It means they're not living the dream that they say is their dream. And that's completely different than the dream that they're living. Right? This is your dream. However you're living it, you're living your dream. Is it your fate, your destiny? Is it who you are? Mm, who knows? But you're living your life. Uh, get used to it. If you want to live a different life, come and explore with me. Come and look at a whole other mechanism on how to live life. Look and see uh, for a different mechanism which shows you how to move towards more of your vitality, have more fun. As I said, what you can hear in the background is the Houston Intercontinental uh, Airport thing. So I'm at the airport. I'm flying again, flying up to... Uh, Pittsburgh. I'll be there for a couple of days, and I fly back home to Switzerland. I was thinking about riding my motorcycle all the way up from here to New Jersey, and that sounded like less fun and fun and fun, and uh, my wife talked me into shipping it from here, which is as easy as shipping it from Jersey, and taking flights and getting home, as we have an active summer set up, and so that's what I'm doing. I'm sitting in Houston, trying to see what, okay, I was looking at my little timer there. That's what I'm trying to see, how much time I have left. But uh, like I said, flying from here to Switzerland, and then this summer we'll fly to Korea, but I'll keep you posted on that a little later. Uh, if you're living a magnificent life, congratulations. If you're not, let's see how to change that uh, with a learning method that I learned about 24 years ago, www.micpeakperformance.com.